hashtag wild about life. And so we came up with this campaign. Initially, it was to raise awareness on the role of conservancies among the urban youth. But as time has gone by, we have been able to diversify that in order to reach the rural youth. This year, we wanted to do something in relation to climate change. And basically what we are doing is we are going to different conservancies in order to see the resilient projects that they have started. So whether it is adaptation, whether it is mitigation, whatever they are doing in order to ensure that they are cushioned when it comes to matters climate change. We have three conservancies, Enonkishu, Naboisho and Fardamat. So one of the visits that stood out for me was the one to Naboisho Conservancy because I was able to understand how conservancies also act as um, a way of supporting uh, the community, you know. Through leasing, community in Alipua, through ile pesa yina toka pale. The master is actually love their land so much. Wanaenda Nairobi na wakirudi, at least wanasaidia kukab stories na climate change kwa conservancies zao. Kuna pia kuna ile number of livestock yina kwa allowed kufanya kazi. The important factor that I learned also today from Enonkishu Conservancy is that they are able to control, they are even able to have mechanisms that allow grass to even grow in, in some areas like uh, the bombers that they the, the bombers that they create in different places. This shows that the community has indigenous knowledge of adaptation. So that also reminds me that uh, there is a need to really involve communities so much when it comes to these conversations because then we may end up just sitting somewhere in a boardroom and deciding for the community where, uh, what to do when clearly they have the knowledge on how to do it best. Like we say, local solutions for global challenges. We went to Lumo Conservancy and we had a youth dialogue. Youth that came from different conservancies in Taita Taveta County uh, to talk more about how conservancies have really really helped in climate change and climate action. We went to Lions Bluff Lodge which is located in the conservancy and I learned a lot from there actually. First of all I learned that if tourists go to the place the money that they pay is used to help the local community. On the third day we visited Mgeno Conservancy and the main source of livelihood was livestock. What they're trying to teach the community is to make wildlife and livestock coexist in the same area and for example they have a water area where livestock and also wild animals go drink water from the same place which I found to be very amazing. Yeah.